Yo, what's going on everyone? This is SLC. So today's video, we're talking about real estate. Real estate is so easy to get into in the sense that you can start no money down, right? Get a loan from the bank, 7%, 8%, which is insane now because of inflation. However, what you guys need to realize is with real estate, everyone lives in something. Whether it be a hut, an apartment building, you know, even a lean-to. You could freaking do an Airbnb with a beefed up lean-to in one day we'll find out if technology will make a dope ass lean to even that could be considered real estate so the reason why real estate is so powerful and anyone get into it is because everyone lives in something right and so with that being said how to get started zero money down it's two options option number one like i said is getting loans and getting loans from the bank seven to eight percent and then putting the money um towards a property now with the deal and whatnot, it's gonna be talking to the real estate agent, talking to people that own the property, talking to the people that are going to live in the property. So finding tenants, finding people that are going to actually pay you, right? And then also if we think about cash flow, what cash flow is is exactly what it sounds like. How cash is flowing through the apartment building and the money that you're spending on to maintenance keep the property looking nice. The reason why you also need to get a relationship with the broker, unfortunately, right? Brokers are scams. Uh, brokers are basically con artists because they're scamming everyone that they work with. Why do I have to pay? So if you think about what the, the broker is doing, they're, they're just, um, they're like smart contractors. So for all those people that are familiar with the NFT space, in the NFT space, there are these things called smart contracts, and that's literally just to verify if the NFT is on the blockchain or not. That's what a smart contract is. If that's the case, people are nowadays in the NFT space are getting paid so much money, you know, 50K, however much money a month. Like people are getting paid, you know, 10,000 plus K a month just to be a smart contractor. And as a smart contractor, all you're doing is verifying a specific thing on the blockchain. All you're verifying is the specific code on the blockchain of a purchase, you know, of a movement of NF one NFT from point A to point B. So if that's the case, when an NFT moves from point A to point B, the middle person is a smart contractor that verifies that that, that NFT got from point A, from one person, point, point B to the next person, and the, the, the middleman is a smart contractor and they're getting paid so much money just to verify that that NFT got from point A to point B on the blockchain. Now um, that real estate becoming digitalized, imagine digital real estate brokers. They're going to be scamming real estate in, in, within the digital uh, world also. However, in the real world, you know, I, what a broker is, is just a middleman. Here's the money. Here's the bank. Here's the broker right in the middle. Every broker is a con artist because they're just taking money from you, giving it to the bank, and then taking however much money they please because that's what brokers do. It's not arbitrage. It's, it's, it's a scam. Brokers are con artists, okay? So the reason why, unfortunately, we will have to create a relationship with that broker, with the bank to get a house, all this other stuff, unfortunately, right? <laughs> However, thank goodness digital real estate is a little bit easier. The reason why digital real estate is a lot easier than real real estate is because, guess what? In digital real estate, you don't have to worry about plumbing. In digital real estate, you don't have to worry about the temperature of the house. In digital real estate, you just have to worry about, does it look nice? Is the person willing to pay however much money for a memorabilia of not even a real house, but a digital house? Right, And then also because it's based off of per monthly purchases. Think about passive income and how it works. If I own a property that's, uh, let's say, a million dollars, right? And then each time someone goes through that property each month that they're living there, they need to pay $10,000. So after 12 months, that's 120K. I take 120K from the tenants after 12 months, right? That's called passive income. However, with digital real estate, why it's going to go even more bonkers 
is because of crypto, is because of the digital assets that are in the game that multiply and compound on themselves way faster than USD or, you know, all the freaking other currencies that are bullcrap. And also, since the crypto and since the digital assets are able to compound so much more, also the movement of money moves faster. So cash and USD and all that stuff is so slow. It's so slow. Think about it. If you have to pay, like let's, let's, let's say you're going to buy a car. It takes forever to pay off the car. What the fuck? Even a house. Let's say you want to buy a house. It takes forever to pay off the house. What the fuck? Versus digital real estate. You can just however much crypto you want and however much digital assets you have, you just put it towards that and the money moves way faster because you don't have to worry about the bank. You don't have to worry about the broker. All you worry about is, hey, I got five ETH or I got five BTC or I got five uh, Solana, all this different stuff. You just send it to whoever the owner or whoever is, has the digital real estate. You just send them uh, the money and then they give you the asset, which is the digital asset. Or if you're trying to get profits, right, and you would be the one selling assets. You would be the one doing arbit uh, rental arbitrage with the assets, right? Everyone, my name is SLC. This video definitely helps.